Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I have a really, really fun one that I'm super excited about. This video is sponsored by EA. EA Games asked me to be a part of this awesome project promoting The Sims 4. And I gotta tell you guys, when I got that email, I was so excited. I love The Sims so much. It's probably one of my favorite and most addicting games of my life. <laughs> I think I was like 10 years old when the first one came out and I don't think I did anything else for like a month <laughs> after I started playing that game. So here you can see me building a character. I wanted to build a character that looked like someone I draw already so I kind of themed her whole outfit and hair and makeup um, similar to one of my drawings. The character building for this game is amazing. It is so much fun to just sit there and just come up with people. And of course I did a sim of myself. I'm not going to show you guys. <laughs> so for this project I built a really beautiful garden. I used a lot of plants and objects from the stuff packs. I got backyard stuff and romantic garden stuff. There were a lot of flowers and plants and decorations for your backyard in those stuff packs. I was going for a very overgrown natural kind of garden and of course I had to have a pond in there. I ended up watching a lot of YouTube Sims build videos and I got sucked into the vortex of Sims videos on YouTube. Like, I couldn't stop watching. It's so much fun to watch those. After I'm done with this, I'm probably going to keep building more and more houses for a long time. <laughs> so I brought my Sim into the garden and I tried to take some screenshots of her walking around in the back area by the bench and then I had her swimming, interacting with the water. I really, really love the character that I came up with in this game. The whole time I was playing, I had to stop and draw her in my sketchbook. And I even did this quick standing pose of her because I just wanted to draw her outfit and her hair and everything. This was kind of just a, a pre-drawing to the final one that I was doing for the project. I ended up really liking her holding the bouquet of foliage from the garden, so I brought that into the final drawing as well. I sketched out a lot of poses for this drawing. I wasn't sure where I wanted to place her in the garden. I was originally going to have her inside the water, but I couldn't come up with a, a composition that really showed off the whole garden. So I ended up just having her sitting by the edge of the water, kind of tying up a bouquet that she just picked. And I took a lot of screenshots of the garden in the game, kind of during sunset or in the evening time. There were a lot of pinks, purples, and oranges in the pictures, and I just loved the colors. So I tried to keep the same color scheme and the same lighting as in the screenshots that I took.
I actually ended up using the first drawing I did of her as a color reference because the colors came out really nicely in that one. For the style of digital painting that I used, I did a lot of flat colors. So I did the outlines and then I did just a flat block in of the local color of the object. And then afterwards I went in with a purple indigo layer over the top and just drew in the shadows and I would play with the layer styles um, usually uh, multiply, screen, and overlay are probably the best ones. And mess with the opacity until it looks like a convincing shadow. In real life, shadows are usually cool because they're reflecting the color of the sky or something like that, so it's good to keep your shadows like a bluish or a purplish color. So for the background, I did it in a little bit different of a style from the character. I was not going to sit there and outline every little leaf and plant and rock, so instead I kind of used an impressionist technique almost with a lot of mark making and abstract dots and lines and stuff instead of being so precise with it. So as you can see, the leaves in the trees are kind of just splotches and dots strategically placed to look kind of like leaves. I think I went in later on and defined some of the, some of the leaves with a smaller brush. And for most of this drawing, I used the default hard round brush in Photoshop. Oh, I'm using Photoshop CS6, by the way. So as you can see, I imported one of my screenshots of the garden and added it to the right side of the page just so that I could sample the colors and make sure that I'm getting the same exact colors in the composition. And I was actually looking at the image to see the types of flowers I used in the background. I know in the game I used a lot of the pale yellow low-laying bushes um, because they spread out a lot and they look really they look really natural and I also use a lot of the wild grass
And of course, I had to add in the Sims diamond above her head. And just at the end here, I added in a couple of decorations that were in my garden, because I felt like even though my garden actually looked like that in the game, you couldn't really tell that it was part of the game. I mean, you can't really tell that much anyway because the game is so much like real life that it kind of just looks like like an illustration, like not even for the game, but I added a couple of the lanterns and a fish fountain into the drawing. So hopefully it looks a little bit more like my actual garden. All right, I hope you guys had fun watching this digital illustration process. I had so much fun with this project, it's probably one of my favorite that I've done in my career so far. I want to thank EA for inviting me to be a part of this project. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe if you did, and I will see you in my next video. So The Sims is actually doing a giveaway over on their Twitter page, and they're giving away five prints of this drawing. If you want to enter, go ahead and follow the link in the description and go ahead and check that out. Bye guys!